What's up, everybody? It's your favorite worst first impressions, favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Fans Toys Power Glide, otherwise known as Warthog, based on the A10 Warthog, which is my favorite jet. It's a very wicked, wicked jet. It just looks like a murder machine with wings. Am I too old to have a favorite jet? <laughs> I feel like maybe I am. Anyway, I got this from Nick the Toy Guy. Great guy to do business with, especially if you're on the East Coast. His email will be in the description. On top of that, I said worst first impressions because these are literally the worst first impressions I've had of a Fans Toys figure, I think, in my life. I'll talk to you about why as we go through the review. I have a very active household today. My father is coming for dinner, so it's scrambling to try to not make a terrible impression on him. So forgive any background noise you may hear during this review. Extenuating circumstances require extenuating action. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and talk about this guy, but first we're going to talk about accessories. He comes with that thing from that episode piece. It's the mask. Um, it is this kind of teal or lime green plastic with the orange and black and white painted on. It's well enough. You have a tab here in the back. If you spin his face around inside of like the cockpit area, it reveals... Well... If you spin it around, it'll reveal tabs that that can plug into. Um, and then you can have that feature. Creature feature, you know what I mean? He comes with a gun. Uh, we've seen this sculpt a thousand times. But uh, it is painted in that pearlescent white that does look good both on the gun and on the figure that we'll talk about. He can hold it just fine. And the gun tabs into the back of the palm as opposed to the inside of the palm. I'm not sure if it's intended or not, but the gun can peg in underneath the wings as well. He comes with two separate flight stand adapters. I imagine they work well with the Fans Toys flight stand. Uh, a small one and a large one. The small one connects to his nether regions, and it is a tight fit, uh, but with a peg there and then a female end for that peg there. The larger adapter can plug in underneath of the jet mode. Gimmicks-wise, if you open up this whole section of his chest, you can then get your finger in there to open up to look at his... Uh, you know, his gears and whatnot, and the little heart symbol, which is a nice touch. Uh, I I can't get this side pegged in all the way, uh, try as I might, but uh, you may have different results than I did. So something to be mindful of. And we'll get in tight on the head sculpt for Dennis. Um, I don't think it's their best, but I don't think it's their worst. The eyes are painted metallic blue, and then the mask and kind of face is painted that pearlescent white that does look good. We have a little silver accent in the middle. The face obviously swivels, where we talked about with the accessory, and then the whole uh, cockpit also swivels. You get a little bit up and a little bit down. N not the best in the world, but it is there. Um, I'll talk to you about how it came in box at the end of the articulation bit, uh, which was frustrating in its own right. But we have universal joints for uh, shoulders that get you out to 90 degrees and then 360 around. We have a bicep swivel. We have a double jointed elbow. Yes. And that gets you almost the full range, which is nice. And then we have a wrist swivel really tight with the fingers on a base pin knuckle and uh, actually we get a little bit of sculpt work there on that side which is always uh, applauded by me all right let's back out brush them we have a waist swivel some people might say that that's an ab crunch um i i think we could give it to them it, it's i'm not sure if that's the intention for it to be an ab crunch um, it's not like it's controlled, it's just the weight of the figure pulls over on it. But it, you do get the slight range, so I think it's okay to give it to him. I'm not going to give him the rear. And then you have a waist swivel as well. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at the hips. You have hip skirts. Oh, much easy now. This is another section that doesn't say stuck in really for me. Um, among many, to be honest. So you have hip skirts here, which gets you out to um, almost the full Van Dam. And then forward and back for the full Monty. You have a thigh swivel. We'll back out a little bit more. So we have these knees. Um, with them fully extended, it's a double joint and gets you 90 degrees. They're supposed to collapse. Um, they do sort of varying degrees of success. When they are collapsed, you can still basically get the 90 degrees but it starts to pull them apart and then I have a really hard time getting mine to go back inside but they want to come out naturally um, which is frustrating just not built very well 
Uh, let's see. Ankles. <laughs> God, what are we doing, man? What are we doing? Where's the ratchets? Where's the ratchets in my Fans Toys product? <sighs> Ankles. Ankle. <laughs> God, dude, we're just pretending. We're pretending that this is acceptable. Uh, if you move all this, you get the ankle tilt up. Ankle tilt down, I guess. And then the rocker works well. You do get a little bit of sculpt work in the lower legs, which is fine. All this stuff is just coming undone. It's spinning around because it has no friction in it whatsoever. Uh, this is a huge miss for me. Uh, I'll talk to you uh, briefly. I think I'm just going to straighten out these wings. I think they're supposed to be collapsed, but then they don't want to stay. So I'm just going to straighten them out. I think that looks bad, too, but I don't know what to tell you. Um, when it came in box, the underside was turned around like this. So you had to extend this up, spin it around, extend it back down. And there is a tab here that does go into a female there, but it, it doesn't go nicely. Um, this was unclipped, this wing here, that just needs to get clipped in, uh, let's see what else, and then the knees were extended, like I said, like, I'm having a hard enough time to get them sunken in properly anyway, uh, I have gotten it before, but then they have a tendency to just kind of come out, and, uh, there he is from the back, which is, uh, pretty clean, to be fair, but, yeah, man. I mean, I'm sure they're going to come from my head for, the, for not liking this, but this is bad as an action figure. You know, we'll talk about the transformation, the alt mode, and all that kind of stuff, but, like, you know, this is not, it's not well made. Size comparison-wise, there it is with some other Masterpiece bots, so you can see where he fits in. He's about the same size as an MP car. We'll talk about the accuracy of that with the Versus with the DX9. Speaking of the DX9, there he is next to him, and obviously we'll be taking a closer look at these two here very shortly. All right, let's get him transformed. So extend the wings, like I talked about, like it, it might even be better anyway. Um, and then you got a number of things to do here. So there is a tab here at the bottom, which will allow you to kind of bend the arms sideways. And then open up the flap, but before you tuck the fist in, use the fist to help you double hinge the whole kind of forearm piece out. Tuck the hand in, flap down, and then this whole thing will rock down on itself and then this obviously will come down, but before you do, spin it so that this tab will meet up with its female counterpart. And then you can close this tab here in the back. Pretty clever stuff, digging that. All right, so same thing on this side. You want to open up this connection point here at the bottom of the forearm, and then Bend the arm outward and then open up the flap. Use the flap and the fist. Oh my God, dude. To get the double hinged forearm section out and away. At that point, you can tuck the hand in, flip the flap over, rotate the forearm back to cover down on the bicep. And then make sure your wing stays where it's supposed to be. Rotate that around and then rotate this down and you're using this tab here into the female counterpart on the wing. I got a wing. Now we need to split the wings away. They're gonna pull out these middle sections, which is fine. Uh, it doesn't really matter, uh, but we, you know what, I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and disconnect the wings anyway, and then we might be able to get these open a little bit more, because we had to pull out the, the section with the head on it, the cockpit. All right, 
So, what do we do here? We have to spin the face. Oh, that worked much easier that time. And we have to open up this and this and fold that out. And that will come over and hide the face. And then you can spin the cockpit around. You can bring this section up and back. And then the cockpit will double hinge backward. And then you can straighten this and use these tabs here on the side. To lock into place and I think I just broke it no I didn't it's on a, a tension clip so uh, we're gonna do the same thing on this side flip up I'm just gonna pull this side away and see if I can do it easier without and then that will tab in so I just need to fix the other side and we'll reconvene wing dings Rotate this down and slide on this slider. Then open up this panel here. This section comes up and over and grabs a hold of the same slider. This comes down and then this panel flips around and the wing tabs in and there's an over under there. So same on this side. Flip the wing around, slide on the slider down, flip this panel here, up and over, grab a hold of that same slider rail that you just used, and then all of this comes in accordingly. Speaking of accordingly, we're going to accordion the waist out. You should find that it will probably want to do that anyway. And let's see, then these bits here. We'll get these wings up and out of the way for the time being. These side bits come down on a double hinge and that locks in the spacing which is appreciated. And, and then you're supposed to tab these in I believe. Uh, but I may hold off because I'm having a hard time getting the clearance for it which is okay because everybody's telling me the legs are where the problem is so we'll see the hips have basically a drop down piece disconnect from the middle drop down and then rotate the thigh inward so that the kind of carved out rectangles are facing one another same on this side All right, so this is where they say the trouble is. Um, we have to open up a lot of this. So bring the ankle down, um, flip this piece around. I was trying to do the wrong piece there. And then this whole section will come up and spin around 180. Now you have to extend the knees, which I have a relatively easier time with for the most part, but you have to, let me see if I, there. Then you have to rotate this in a manner that will put this thruster, turbine, whatever it is, up top. Rotate the one little cylinder piece in and why do I feel like I have this upside down or something? Salt real quick. 
Yeah, my bad. I just had it spun the wrong way somehow. So just spin this around so that when you get this thruster up, you have this piece with a tab and a connection there. You have a peg and a connection there. And this kind of has to just roll into it and peg in. Um, and I don't have it quite right, but that's how it basically is done. Now I'm gonna try to get the other side and see if I have any more luck, whether it makes a stronger or weaker connection. So the ankle's pulled out. This piece is disconnected just because it has a tendency to do so on mine. This piece comes down. And then we have to extend the knee. If you see this red piece there, that's what we're looking for. Then we have to rotate out and then up and around and then spin this 180. And then this has got to roll into there also. All right, hold on. I'm just gonna try for a minute. I've got this one kind of right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so this has to do the same thing as I got the other one to do, but... Oh, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Almost got her, I feel like. That's gonna have to be close enough for now. I gotta get these last little pieces down there tight. But it's just a matter of manipulating it. It's a little hard with the camera in front of me. I'll be back. Then just make sure that these pieces, they got out and on mine, but make sure that these pieces down here at the bottom fold up. And then you can bring your wings down. Oh man, come on. That piece tabs into the side there. And then this hip skirt actually comes down and holds the other part of the wing. Uh, and I'm having a hard time getting anything to kind of brace it against. But there's one. And I mean, there's the other, but it's, it's not right. All right, coming down the home stretch. Uh, this is just a matter of opening up a ton of stuff. There's a piece. There's a piece. There's a piece. And this whole section rotates up. And once you've done that, now you have the whole thing filled in. And then you just have to rotate it so that it sits like in line. We'll do the same thing on this side. As you can see, mine's not 100% right, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get it, but I'm gonna do my best. Uh, open, 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 tilt, open, collapse, and open. And then rotate the whole section in. There's tabs here that go into the side of the body of the jet. And I am um, trying to keep my cool. 
but once you have it tabbed in, it should look something like that. And then I would get it cleaned up and take a look at it. I thought, oh, wait, there, there I got it. There I got it. All right, so let's just see if we can clean it up. All right, it's going to be close enough, I think. And I still got this one panel that ain't quite right. I'll see if I can do anything with that, and we'll take a look at it. And there it is, uh, close enough. As you can see, it's not quite right. Um, you know, and it seems to be in my thighs, like these sections, I can't get them quite straight enough, but I'm gonna have to leave it be. Um, Cause I'm afraid I, can, I won't be able to get it this close again. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the juice is worth the squeeze on this. It's, I mean, it's some parts of it are impressive. Uh, does that little part lift up? I don't know, you can lift up the canopy, I guess. There's nothing really in there. Uh, you can roll it on this landing gear, but it's back heavy, so it doesn't really work. Uh, the landing gear do collapse. Forward there, forward, f forward, and then to the side. You know, I, I like some of the sculpted details that come through. It's not much, but like you get a little bit in, in the front end of it. You know, it's impressive what they did, you know, in terms of its silhouette, like how how thin they got the bot. It's just really hard to like press the pieces up against each other without the other pieces coming undone. It's just a very frustrating, you know, it's almost like if they could have done something with this, like had these parts been peg-in parts, parts forming parts, which I don't think anybody would have minded. Um, that would have freed up some of it. It's just a very, it's a very, very, very frustrating experience. And and uh, more frustrating than Fans Toys has been in a while. I also, there's mixed matched reds all over it. This really seems like, uh, like a half-hearted attempt in many ways. Uh, not feeling it, not feeling it at all. There it is with Tiger Tracks. I was actually kind of hoping it broke because uh, I was gonna have my way with it, but it didn't, so I won't, but um, yeah, man, not a fan. Really, 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 really um, disappointing piece for this company, you know? Not what I expect from them at all. You know, whether or not I like a piece aesthetically that they've been doing recently is one thing, but this is just, this is a joke, in my opinion. We're off to a, 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 back to a rocky little go here recently with some of these recent ones, but yeah, not feeling it. Final thoughts wise, we'll start with the negatives. The build sucks. That's the biggest negative. The joints are not supported enough. All but like all that die cast weight in the lower legs are not supported by the weak joints at the knees and hips or the weak connection at the waist, weak ankles, boo. On top of that, it doesn't have, in my opinion, the cleanliness of a typical Fans Toys piece. So I don't know why they didn't put the ratchets in there. I even feel like the wings are less elegant than what I come to expect from them, even given their kind of new aesthetic aside, right? Their super hyper tuned look, which they fail at here, by the way. It's like they really cast that to the side for this one, which normally I would like. And I actually like a lot of the elements. Like I like the lower legs legs specifically like I like the way they look if the build was better I'd probably appreciate them more but it's not so I don't the transformation of the legs is just frustrating <laughs> I was so, I would so go so far as to say repulsive and like I said so much of it depends on being able to use the stability of itself against its panels but the stability itself is an issue so it really just makes for a fairly frustrating moment to try to utilize all the pieces against one another it's like a throwback to old school frustrating fans toys transformation transformations, which I feel like we haven't had in a long time, which could indicate that this is an older design. But I mean, that doesn't forgive it. It's released now. So, I mean, I don't really care. Do you know what I mean? The fact that it may be an older design, it, that's not my problem. Positives wise, uh, it's fully painted and that's nice. The materials feel good, so that's nice. Most of the articulation is built in there. I wish we had a little bit more in the ankles. In terms of the rockers, not the up and down. God, please no. This is just a really messy, sloppy fans toys piece, man. But but let's stay on the positives. The accessories are appropriate. I, I do have to say that I think the alt mode, especially if you were to get it all lined up right, I'm sure, looks great. But I'm also kind of subjectively just a fan of that jet in general. 
general. I'm not sure how much of that is playing into my opinion there. And I think that the upper body transformation is actually really, really clever. It kind of reminds me more of modern day fans toys. The lower body reminds me of fans toys from yesterday, which I can't say how much uh, I did not miss those engineering moments. I'll be honest with you. I think you'd be better off spending $100 to get somebody to custom paint your DX9 than to spend any more money on this. It's one of the worst pieces I've purchased this year. And that's not just Transformers. That's all my purchases of the year, including some really bad Super 7 stuff. Uh, I'm not a fan. I know I've said it once before on here, but I'll say it again. Not a fan. Had it broke, I would have destroyed this thing. But it didn't. Something to be grateful for. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.